So, to our top story tonight, and it's polio, which has returned to the UK for the first time in four decades, and it's spreading. Parents were urged to get their children vaccinated immediately after the announcement today that the disease has been detected in sewage in London. Public health officials declared a national incident, and doctors are on high alert to investigate anyone with symptoms, which can include sudden paralysis. Polio, which mainly affects young children, has not been detected in the UK since 1984, nor in Western Europe for the last 20 years, where it had been eradicated. Well, let's get more on this with The Times' science editor, Tom Whipple, who joins me in the studio now. Tom, dramatic development today. The first case of polio here in 40 years. Should we be worried? We should be worried. Um, it, it, is, it is concerning. I think it's another way in which we feel like we're going back to the 70s. Um, but it's important to clarify what it is and it isn't. First of all, goes out saying we have a vaccine most of us have been vaccinated you know almost 90 percent of, of people in britain have been vaccinated the second thing is this is not the wild type virus what this is is one of the vaccines used abroad is a live vaccine it's an attenuated form of the virus and very very occasionally we've seen this in other countries it starts to spread itself it mutates so that it can spread and that's what's been seen there's been this signal and it's only a signal in sewage we haven't seen the evidence in hospitals but a signal that it's spreading and occasionally these outbreaks do flare up and of course what we want is for it to cease flaring up I do rather. <laughs> Tom, just explain a little bit more how on earth it was detected in quite an ingenious new way via sewage, which is all down to COVID. Yeah, so uh, polio spreads via, via sewage, and it was in the 1970s. It was the pioneering virus that was used for this wastewater surveillance, where the idea is, you know, we, we all, perhaps with the exception of the Queen, we all of us poo, and it can be sampled, and you can get a really unbiased population sample of viruses. And this has been, during COVID, this process has been ramped up, and we have sampled sites across the country to look for COVID, but it gives us this early warning signal of all sorts of viruses if we want to use it. OK, now look, uh, I'm sure everyone will be getting vaccinated, getting their children vaccinated and not vaccinated already, but how do you catch this virus? How infectious is it? It's spread on, I mean, it's spread through feces, it's spread through not washing your hands after going to the toilet. Um, you know, it was a terrible disease in the 1950s and it always has the potential of going back to be that. But globally, you know, we are so close to eradicating it. It just exists in the wild, in un, un sort of controlled outbreaks in the borders of Pakistan and Afghanistan. This is almost one of the great global public health successes, which is, of course, why it's so concerning if it starts popping up in other places. OK, and the belief is, of course, someone from that area where it maybe still is came here and it goes on. Tom, thank you.